When you think of October 1st, 2017, how do you recall that day? A lot of uh, chaos and uncertainty uh, when it first happened. Um, and you know, you had people from home uh, texting and calling, made sure I was all right. It was really emotional, especially, you know, playing that the first two weeks here after the incident. Do you remember specifically where you were that day? A couple of guys were going on this trip for dinner and uh, a couple of other guys, we went to a Red Rock uh, casino to have dinner there. And I remember I was sitting at the bar there and we were just watching the news. Uh, it was just scary. Like you were kind of reading online what's happening and no one knew really what was happening. A lot of guys were on the strip, so we actually got locked down in the hotel. We actually played that afternoon, um, an afternoon game and preseason. And after that, we kind of got shut down. So we, uh, we had security, we're at the hotel, we have to call the team. Many people will remember Derek's speech. How do you recall that speech from the ice? I mean, there was chills, there was so much energy in the building, and it was something it's tough to put into words. It was just so uh, emotional, everything. Um, and I think it was all a beautiful moment um, in remembering uh, everyone that uh, was affected. How cool was it to give this city so much hope? I mean, that was the year you guys made the run to the Stanley Cup Finals. The city of Las Vegas never had a sports team, so they couldn't gather the community to surround something and be all in this together and I think that's what brought the community a lot together uh, that first year is uh, they were all go at T-Mobile. Uh, people still talk about it uh, especially with the, uh, the original Golden Knight you know we get talked about a lot so uh, anything that we could do that year to try to help the community uh, we did so. A very special first year and unfortunately we didn't go all the way but uh, you know we won the hearts of the people.